Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Ebony State, Her Excellency Patricia Obila. Your Excellency, the immediate past Deputy Governor of Ebony State, my brother, Dr. Kelechi Iwe, PhD. Your Excellency, the incoming Governor of Ebony State, Right Honorable Francis Obunia Wivuru. For the Chief Judge of Ebony State, Justice Elvis Anagungele. Your Excellency, the wife of the incoming Governor of Ebony State and the incoming First Lady of Ebony State. Her Excellency, Mrs. Uzanaka. Obuna Mwiburu. Our dear father, the immediate past governor of Abuja State, and one of the foremost founding fathers of Abuja State creation, our dear Chief Martin Wacho Lechisiwe. Our Excellency, my dear mother, the immediate past first lady of Abuja State, Chief Mrs. Josephine. One joy in the chain. My Lord, the President Customary Court of Appeal, Honorable Justice Uhu, the Secretary to Government of Abuja State, all the National Assembly members that are here, all the House of Assembly members that are here, especially the Deputy Speaker of the State House of Assembly, all the visiting speakers of the State House of Assembly, past and present, my co laborers the State Executive Council members and all the local government chairmen are the Bishop Nacho Kuro, the immediate past Bishop of Abakali Kidaos, is our dear father. Our dear father Abraham Wali, special, senior special advisor to the state government. All the clergymen and women that are here, my very dear pastor and the chaplain of government house, my dear Pastor Eunice Oyemi and the, your dear husband, Pastor Peter Oyemi. Our dear traditional fathers, my dear family members, Major General Bill retired, Chief Austin Omai, former national chairman of the default PDP Saudist. All the support groups, let me start by rebranding all the support groups in Ebony State to now be all to be Francis Obunia Wivuru and also to be Mrs. Uzabaka Wivuru. When the new governor emerges, there shall be no two mayorities in the state. We shall be having only one leader. And let me also announce that Abuja group is hereby dissolved and abolished in Jesus' name by the powers conferred on me as the governor of Ebony State. I hereby dissolve all the casual workers of Ebony State International Airport. I also dissolve all committees on environment. I also dissolve all committees on street lights, leaving only Mr. Anteshi, all of you who contributed in one way or the other to the successes we have recorded in these last eight years. My dear brothers and sisters, the Holy Bible affirms that there is time for everything and a season for everything under the heavens. You see that in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. In obedience to the above biblical injunction, the laws of our land and the laws of nature, it is time for me to bow out as your governor. Fellow Abonians, my eight years administration took off on the 29th of May 2015, following the handover to me by my predecessor, His Excellency Chief Martin Wancho Ilichi, MFRCOL. My administration was anchored on my mission statement and five-fold covenant given to me by God Himself. In attempting to fulfill this covenant, we have transformed Ebony State in such a manner that I have touched the lives of the people and restored our dignity in the community of states in Nigeria. We now have a state of our pride that is a reference point in every sense of development and sustainability. 
my brothers and sisters of Ebony State. On this auspicious occasion, it is appropriate for me to ceaselessly give thanks to Almighty God for taking me among you and honoring me so much with his abundant grace, unfailing love, innumerable favors, divine inspirations, and unlimited protection in the eight years of my social contract with the people of Ebony State. I therefore sincerely consider it a privilege to serve the people of Ebony State as governor from 2015 to 2023. Let me, by the powers conferred on me as the governor of Ebony State, dissolve the state executive council with the faith from now. However, we have retained Reverend Dr. Father Abraham Wally, who is duly Senior Special Advisor to Ebony State Government and the Acting Chairman of Ebony State Boundary Commission to the glory of God. Continuing, let me specially thank my dear wife, whom God has used mightily to organize the women and prayer group to support us in prayers. She has been the face of the success of this administration, helping to make fences where necessary and using her pet project to support our human capital development initiatives. My children, especially Heaven and Osborne, have always given me encouragement and best wishes to our administration. Let me also immensely thank my family members, General Eber Obiu Mahi, retired, His Royal Highness is Elaz Umahi, Barista Roy Umayi, Dekin Austin Umayi, Chief Stanley Umayi, and all other family members of mine and the host of our relations. I must not fail to thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the immediate past President, President Muhammad Buhari. He has honored the Bonnie State with his good heart, and for this, we are eternally grateful to Mr. President, the immediate past President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My immediate past Deputy Governor, Barrister Kelechi, with PhD, deserves a part on the back for remaining dependable and steadfast in the ideas of our administration. I thank him immensely and his dear wife for being who they are. I treasure their support to me and to our state government. The right honorable speaker is a son in whom I'm well pleased. Without him in the House of Assembly, the state would have been in trouble. He has diligently pursued legislative businesses that will promote peace and engender development in the state. My trust is in him is unwavering. In a matter of hours, he will take up the mantle of leadership of the state as the new leader whom we must all honor and support to take our divine mandate to the next level. To the Chief Judge of Ebony State, Honorable Justice Elvis Anegungene, I thank you for your commitment to the cause of justice and constitutionalism. You have added value to the dignity of the judiciary and the officers therein. You are a man of character, integrity and content. Thank you, my lord. The president of the customary court of appeal has been a perfect gentleman. And the, the Southeast Khan Chairman, Reverend Father Abraham Wali, and the Southeast Chairman of Traditional Rulers Council, His Majesty Charles Nkuma, have been very wonderful in the charge of their duties, not just their born state, but Southeast and the entire Nigeria. I appreciate the church, the bishops, the religious bodies, and all the NGOs, especially our father, the Bishop Emeritus of Abakli Catholic Diocese, Bishop Nachokoro. We are very grateful to you. And I also thank the Bishop of Abakli Diocese, Bishop Peter Chukuma. And I appreciate the good wind message you sent to me yesterday. There is a time for everything. It's now a time to reunite and move our boy state forward under the new leadership that will emerge in matter of minutes now. And let everybody know that the governor of the state is the leader of everybody in the state. And everybody must be subject to the laws of the land under the leader. As my eight years in office successfully go down in history today, I wish to remind us that history is not just a matter of this. What makes history is what comes before, in between, and after the dates. Before I was state under my watch between 29th May 2015 and today will surely be judged fairly by history. The fear of God, the love for the people, the passion for the people and the state. Justice, equity, fairness and the exact to rewrite our solid state were the driving force of our administration in these past eight years. My good people of Ebony State, let me take you down memory lane of 2014-2015 when we launched our political campaign platform, the Divine Mandate Campaign Organization, and they campaigned vigorously for this office. We crisscrossed the entire length and breadth of Ebony State and came face to face with the stark realities 
of our age-long underdevelopment, deprivation, humiliation, and neglect as a people. Let me pay glowing tribute to our founding fathers for all their efforts in giving us life. Without them, we will not serve all the success that we celebrate today. Without them, we will not also have the freedom we celebrate today. Our honor, so we go to Salih Apacha, the former head of state, who listened to the sufferings of our people and gave us a state of our choice. We are very grateful to you. Let me thank all the past military administrators who labored to lay the irreversible foundation for our people. Let me thank His Excellency Dr. Sam Yegu, the first executive governor of Ebony State, and the, his dear wife, the laid foundation for the democracy of the state and empowered our people in this small measure. We are grateful to you. Let me thank my father, Chief Martin Elegi, the immediate past governor of the state and the wife who is my mother. Thank you very much for making me party chairman. Thank you very much for making me deputy governor. Without these two appointments and elections that you gave me the opportunity, who knows, probably I wouldn't have been governor of Ebony State. I remain very deeply indebted to you and I'm grateful to you. And all the people that have worked with us, we are deeply very, very grateful. To those who have offended me and to those who have offended, may action and reaction neutralize themselves. And may everything before God who forgives all. In Jesus' name. Are we advised for the people to always be grateful to anybody that has done anything for you in life? This is the way of life. If you are not grateful to man, you cannot be grateful to God. And finally, in my inaugural address to you on May 29, 2015, I make many promises to you. I stand here in thanksgiving to Almighty God for His abiding love and faithfulness that enabled us not only to fulfill all the campaign promises, but to do much more than we have promised. Fellow employers, as I round up my activity today as your governor, and I salute back to where we were as a state in 2015 and we're where we are now. I believe that our modest achievement can best be described as the Abony miracle. It is a Abony miracle because no man can truly explain how this monumental leap in infrastructure, infrastructural development and transformation came about except through God, who made everything possible through divine inspirations. Our sacrifices and daily labor of love, restless days and sleepless nights were our faithful prayers for God to help us achieve our mission statement and the five-foot covenant which he gave to me by himself. And indeed, we achieved all that our hearts set to achieve for the people of Ebony State. The giants of Abuja group, we defeated them in Jesus' name. The giants of those who fought against equity, justice and fairness, we defeated them. The giants of those who were against fair rotation in Ebony State, we defeated them. Say amen. amen. To our economy, amen. Governor, before your election as Governor, you have amen. been an integral part of the Divine Mantle Administration in the state as the head of the legislative arm of our government in the last eight years. Through that vantage position, you were part and parcel of all that we collectively did to develop the state and set it on the path of irreversible progress and prosperity. I am therefore delighted to hand over to you the following compilation of different reports and activities embarked upon by various ministry, departments and agencies of government under my watch as the governor of Ebony State in the last eight years. The reports are contained in eight volumes as follows. Volume 1, all the reports about government house, office of the governor, including the office of chief of staff and principal secretary to governor. The deputy governor will hand over to the immediate past deputy governor will hand over to the deputy governor tomorrow in uh, uh, her office. It also contains reports from the Office of Secretary to Government, Head of Service and our liaison offices in Enugu, Abuja and Lagos, including all our properties in those locations. Volume 2 and 3 report from Ministry, Departments and Agencies of Government. Volume 4, the report of Abony State Finance Committee. Volume 5, Abony State Summary of Financial Inflows and Outflows from 2015 to 2023. Volume 6, a Boy State Summary of Payments Made from Fund Utilization. Seven, a Boy State Government Summary of Direct Labor Jobs and Payments. Eight, a Boy State Government Summary of All Payments on All Contract Jobs. I therefore hand over the government and the people of a Boy State and all the NGOs in the state to you. 
May I use the glorious opportunity to once more congratulate you on your electoral victory in the March 18, 2023 governorship election and your former inauguration and assumption of office as the fourth democratically elected governor of Ebony State. As my successor in office, I'm grateful to God that you have been around with us in the service of the state and clearly understood where we are coming from, where we are presently as a state and a people and where we wish the state to be in the nearest future. This handover note is the summary of all that my administration has done and still taken in the last eight years to move our new state forward. Why we see your administration divide providence and outstanding success is my hope that this handover note will provide you an insight into the structure and direction of government from 2015 leading to your assumption of office today 2019-2023. From this handover note which comprises of volumes 1 to 8, you will find detailed list of the completed and ongoing projects in various establishments. We also find the details of government financial transactions and status. You will benefit from the various recommendations on how to move the MDAs and the state forward in the spirit of divine mandate consolidation and continuity. Furthermore, I urge you to take the unity and peace of our state to heart and to always ensure equity, justice and fairness in all your considerations without fear of favor, affection or ill will. I also commend the church and the religious bodies in the state to, to you to look after them because as you know, our divine mandate is anchored in God. I thank you all for your support and partnership in the last eight years. As I hand over the state to you, I pray God to give you wisdom beyond measure and men and women of good will who will give you unflinching support and solidarity throughout your tenure. I therefore, my pleasure to bless you now. I therefore, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, as ye the father of the state, the father of the new Abony state, the father of divine mandate in Abony state, and the my son, the new governor in matter of seconds now, I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My prayer for you is that you will find your administration in this coming eight years very smooth, anchored on God. I pray that God will be your only God. I pray against every distractions and every powers of darkness that may want to interfere. I pray that the body people will remain very loyal and committed to administration. I therefore bless you in corn. I bless you in wine. I bless you in everything you put your hands to in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your, may your tenor be more prosperous than our own. May you prosper more than our own. May you do more exploits more than we have done. May God be with you and your family. You will rule in health. You will rule in joy. The hands of God will rest upon you. I bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. These blessings are irreversible in the name of Jesus Christ. God will fight whoever that fights you, and God will fight your cause for the sake of the development of the United States. Only be strong, and only be fair, and only be just. Treating everyone in that state and all the local government with equity, justice, love, and let the passion of the state be your watchword. Let it be first in everything you do, and to look after the church. I just for bless you again. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And together for all your team. Yes, sir. Our son to us. This is the glory of love. Yes, sir. We are short of my readiness, willingness, and availability to offer any advice or suggestion on any issue, if required. May I therefore repose the chief charge of our police and justice, Elvis Anegungere, to swear in the new governor of our body state.